She like my face. Anyway, it's just a temple of Chevy John Cena, and, uh... Now, we're gonna talk about something here. Uh, give me a second. If you can't tell, this is a very weird money to bring briefcase. I don't have one. Sorry. My, my cousin thinks it's well. Anyways, I embrace this just in case you just don't want to point it out. Okay. Okay, I watched SmackDown the other night, and, um, well, if you didn't watch SmackDown the other night, here's what happened, alright? I'll just do this in a simple example for you. So, fortunately, I'm not great at editing, so we're gonna have to do a good example here. So, Darth Vader will be Baron Corbin. He has his money in the bank briefcase. So, John Cena, i.e. me, I hit a super AA. Hold on, what's the good example? Alright. Uh, go on. My question is why I hate this guy so much. Yoda will be Jinder Mahal. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, so that happens. Okay, that happens. So, Baron Corbin decides, he, 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 I'm going to cash in. Then this happened. Suddenly, a fierce stare happens. Oh yeah, and then this happens. Uh, Mahal comes in, eh? Rolls him up. Eh. Rolls him up. Shoulders are on the mat. One, two, three. And Mahal fails, and Corbin fails his cash in. And little Corbin is crying. He can no longer use his special lunchbox anymore. So sad. How do you feel, Baron? We don't care! Woo! We don't care anymore! I wanted Sami Zayn to win! Woo! My opinion? I don't care! But I mean, let's face it. SummerSlam is going to be Cena versus Corbin. I hate to say it, but I could honestly care less. You guys probably know I'm a Cena fan. You can probably tell by my channel name. Um... Okay. That was just dumb. Alright. Well, one thing I can mention. Cena has a knack of uh, burying stars at, Russell, at SummerSlam, i.e. the Nexus. And he has a knack of putting over stars at SummerSlam, such as CM Punk, Daniel Bryan, um, Seth Rollins, just name a few. So. How do you feel? Okay. But yeah. Corbin, your golden lunchbox doesn't mean a thing anymore. Hey, give me ten likes and I'll do a... Um, I'll do a Roman Reigns diss track or something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Because Merku. But let's face it, would you rather have Baron Corbin be WWE Champion? Who, in NXT, he was just this weird biker guy. He didn't really do anything. A biker zombie, I think. When I first got into wrestling, I thought, Well, this guy's a biker zombie. Um, Sami Zayn. One of my favorite NXT stars. Probably my favorite NXT star ever. Sorry, Shinsuke. <laughs> um, honestly, you had 
in my opinion, you had four pretty good options that you could you could choose from. There was not Baron Corbin, Zayn, and Styles, Nakamura, and finally, finally, Kevin Owens. Sorry, cuz I'm sorry, my cousin. I said it. I said it. But hey. I may be me American. Maybe be American. But I'm a Minnesotan as well. Yeah, I'm from Minnesota. What do you think? I mean, you have obviously haven't seen my office before. It's filled with Viking stuff. Say hello, my, lo- my other sports fans. Say hello. But let's face it. Uh, we have a guy who, ha- who has seizures. Sorry, sounds gay. We have a guy who has seizures versus a a guy who's A, juiced, and B, one of the worst WWE champions of the world. I'm sorry, it's not the road dug Jesse James and a bad man Billy Gunn. And a bad donkey Billy Gunn. Better. Can I at least mention that uh, SmackDown is way better than Raw these days? Let me mention that. Yeah, this bell is part of SmackDown. Yeah. But yeah, let's face it, guys. We can at least say that SmackDown is no longer the B plus show anymore. Anyways, well. Who knows? Probably, probably I'll be a 17 time world champion by, by the end of the year, hopefully. See here, one thing that WWE wants you to forget Corbin's money in the bank cash in, the women's money, basically everything to do with money in the bank, except that the men's money in the bank ladder match was pretty good. So. After all this time, Raw still can't find anything. Let's face it, they should have kept McFoley around. Face it, Foley was a good GM. McFoley is not a glorified stuntman, Rick. Let's see here. Let's see that. 17 time world champion, hopefully coming at WrestleMania. Yeah! Yeah! Let's be honest here. If Dave Meltzer didn't have, uh, didn't be favored with Japanese wrestling these days, WWE would have five star matches about. I don't want to sound dumb, okay? I'm gonna be on celebrities dumb list, except I'm not famous. I'm not. Let's be honest here. If Meltzer just started looking at good matches that were that were gonna be about as much as a, a Kenny Omega match these days. Well he'd realize that a Kenny Omega match was to any WWE match, once Kenny Omega comes over. Well, I'm sure that he'll either give us five star matches, or he'll just give the rest of New Japan five star matches, and none, no more for Kenny Omega. Well, anyways, thank you guys for tuning in for this dumb, dumb, dumb video with me killing Yoda again. Hashtag pray for Yoda. Well, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.